What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. We're gonna go over Decentraland, guys. Mana currently we're sitting at 229. We're up about 1.5 on the day. We're sitting at a market cap of 4.10 billion, 24 hour volume, 907 million. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up for the world's fastest growing crypto app, and you can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cashback in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix, Prime, travel incentives, depending on the level card that you have, $25. Just for hopping into, just for signing up through my referral, let's hop into Mana. All right, guys. So we're here on the four-hour time frame, completely oversold on the RSI as well as the money flow. We saw a bounce. You can just use these indicators to trade if you want to target oversold areas, put in your trade, set a stop loss below, and just let it bounce. Of course, it isn't 100, percent um, but it's a good way to trade right here. RSI money flow in the floor, bounce back to the upside. Right here as well, in the floor, bounce back to the upside here as well, in the floor, bounce back to the upside. So some incredible indicators um, for your levels of support and resistance. So you can see we're starting to push up. We have a little bit of a ascending channel here, possibly a little bit of a rising wedge, but it just looks more like a bit of, yeah, a little bit of a rising wedge here. Uh, so do keep an eye on that, guys. If we hit 242, we are reaching the top section, getting close. I'm sure on the one hour time frame, yeah, we're trending towards overbought. Um, so if we do fall out of that pattern, guys, could bring you back down to about a dollar seventy-eight. So if you want to short, I don't short anymore, I just dollar cost average. But if it falls out of the pattern, it's about a 17% short trade. All right, guys, we are back above the EMAs. Uh, do watch the 55, could act as resistance for our friend Mana. We've had four entries with our break even, sitting about 296. So we're getting more money into our trade, bringing down our average price, which is always a good thing to see, guys. But we are hitting a lot of resistance, as you can see on the EMAs, resistance, 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 resistance. So if we are gonna see a bounce here, we do have to get back above them on the four hour time frame. Just watch the indicators, guys, as we are overbought on the hourly, as I had just mentioned. And usually that can signal a little bit of consolidation or a move back down. The same thing, when you're at the bottom of the indicators, you see a push back up. When you're at the top, you see a push back down. All right, guys, let's jump over to the daily time frame. So we broke out of this symmetrical triangle, or you can see it as a descending triangle as well. And we met the target very similar to sandbox guys we went through an abc correction and currently we rested right on the previous swing high you can see we wicked down the bulls pushed the price right back up um rsi in the floor money flow in the floor macd absolutely in the floor as well so what we want to see is we bounce from this level and see the bullish cross because if we break the previous high guys we really don't have any support till about a dollar seven and then below that you have support at about 65 cents four cent so it would be crucial for us to bounce here or it's a bit of a free fall down to our next level of support you're looking at about a 52% drop and then all the way down to about 65 cents is another 70% drop for Sandbox. We are underneath the EMAs. Looks like we're coming back up to test them as resistance. If we pop over to the weekly, guys, we have had the bearish indicator, the bearish cross on the MACD, which is the early indicator on the weekly of a drop. And of course, the weekly time frame, the drop is going to be much, much larger when it prints bearish, guys. You can see we were quite overextended. We came back down into a healthy range. So I do think we would if we're going to see a bounce, it has to happen relatively soon. Maybe a dead cap bounce and then come back down to lower price targets or come up and break this high. Really depending on Bitcoin guys, we're still waiting to see if we're gonna drop lower or if we're gonna go through that dead cap bounce situation. But as of right now, we've had the bearish cross on the weekly just as we did right here. And it's an early indicator of a move back down. But if we were to see a nice bounce here, then we would bounce back into profits with our trade. And then we lock in our profits and we dollar cost average once again. All right, guys, if we fall out of this falling wedge, we lose this low. Our next level of support lines up with our buy zones. Let me pop back over to the four hour time frame. 157, let me scroll it open. See, there's a little bit of support here, not much. And then all the way down, our next support line dropped at 107. And then I have a buy zone here at 65 cents. All right, guys, equal amounts at each buy zone brings your average price down halfway each time. 
And when we bounce back up into profits, we lock in our profits, we reset our buy zone. So we're always in the trade, guys. If you're leveraged trading, you have to double your margin. So if you enter with 500, next buy zone 500, next one 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. And spot traders equal amounts, 500, 500, 500. All right, guys, that is it for this one. Just watch this rising wedge pattern. If the support is lost and we come back down, to about $1.77. We need to break 242, get back above the EMAs if we are gonna see continuation to the upside. But as I mentioned, guys, our indicators are in the floor on the daily, and that is usually when you see a nice bounce right here, indicators on the floor. We can see a little bit of a bounce here. It's actually quite a big bounce. I mean, if you take it from the wick low, you're looking at, yeah, it's huge, 107% bounce. Indicators in the floor right here, bounce back to the upside. Right here, indicators in the floor, bounce back to the upside. But sometimes what'll happen, guys, is you'll see small bounces and then you consolidate and you'll drop lower, small bounce, consolidate, drop lower, small bounce, consolidate before seeing the huge bounce back to the upside. And the indicator will do a little something like this. It will stay low, it will stay low, it will stay low. And then boom, it will start heading up towards overbought. And that's when you see your massive pump. That's why we dollar cost average. So we're prepared whether we're going down or we're pumping up. All right, guys, that's it for MANA. Shout out to the Discord, over 1,000 members talking all things crypto. Let me open it up. It's just a bit of a private conversation here we have all types of rooms guys one of my favorite rooms is the chart channel where they're posting chart patterns and all types of goodies 350 usd you really can't beat a price of a coffee as well as our dca charts for many many altcoins we have matic gala sand phantom mana so quite a few different altcoins in here guys you can sign up to the patreon if you want to trade with me sign up to bybit forty one hundred dollars in bonuses for a limited time and i will see you in the next video all right much love take care